I get high before I do these things. So, welcome to Matt Reviews Books. I am Matt. If you haven't been here before, this channel is all about older books. Probably seen them on the bookstore. This week, we are talking about uh, Catherine Kurtz, Chronicles of the Durini, Volume 3, Hi Durini. Um, and it was published 1973. Synopsis! First of all, this story, this story arc is a lot more action, action oriented, at least I think so. Kelson and his friends, um, and all his advisors, are finally going to deal with uh, this rebel, uh, Warren, who is uh, apparently this prophet or healer or something, he really is a healer. So he's got, got to deal with this open rebellion in uh, uh, Corwin, which is his friend, his very, very, very good friend, Duke Alaric Morgan. He, that's his duchy. And then he also has to deal with uh, Wenkit, or Wensit of Torrent, who um, murdered, well, he's, Wen Wensit is the brother of the woman who murdered Kelson's dad. Uh, and he wants Kelson's throne. But a lot of this book isn't about Kelson. This this book is more about Alaric Morgan and Duncan McLean, Father Duncan McLean, as they're trying to figure out how to get their names clear from the church, which has excommunicated Alaric, the, the duke, and suspended Duncan from the priesthood. But the head of the church is more or less an open rebellion against Kelson, King Kelson. Wensit, good old Wensit, good old Wensit. Well, he's not really good. He's a slimy piece of work. He's he's very cultured, very urbane, but nasty. Um, and you know what? He captures Morgan's friend and aide-de-camp, Sean Lord Derry, and brainwashes him. He uses magic. Magic to brainwash him to uh, basically be an agent of chaos within Kelson's camp. In this uh, story, we are introduced to this shadowy group of magicians, of Durini. And they call themselves the Cambari Cambarian Council. Uh, the Cambarian Council was founded by Camber of Coldy several centuries before the story. And that whole story is, is part of another series that Catherine Kurtz wrote later. Wonderful series. We're not talking about that one. But the Cambarian Council is sort of this self... Uh, self... Ah, what's the word? Anyway... They think they're the arbiters of magic in uh, the Eleven Kingdoms. They think that they're the ones who get to dictate how magic fights happen. And this is important because there is a dual arcane. I love that phrase. Dual arcane. And there's a dual arcane. It's not just one-on-one. -on -one. No. This is tag team action, people. Four on four. Thoughts. Um, so the, the first two books in the Chronicles of the Durini are a little bit more slower paced, I think, right? I think there's a lot more deliberation, there's a lot more uh, texture, but this one has a little bit more action. It seems like it moves faster. I don't think it's not any thinner than the other books, but I think that there's just a lot more going on because there is treachery, there is magic, there is sword fights, there is a romance between one of our heroes and a married woman, there is redemption, and so then there's mysterious magicians with murky motives. I like alliteration. And Catherine Kurtz stuffs it all into high direction. And I think this is her best entry in the series. Um, it's almost like she has figured it out. You know, she's figured out the the story and her world, and, and she relaxes into it. Where was I going with that? I don't know where I was going with that. I was going to tell you to go forth and read it. Appreciate you watching this far, and I, and I hope you follow along. Subscribe. Come on. Let, let's do this. Baby steps. Baby steps towards digital dominance. Yeah. Leave comments. Leave, tell me what you're reading. Tell me what you think I should read. Tell me what you think I should review. And 
What was I? Um, <laughs> right? Right.